back to my channel. It's your girl Rita Nicole. Here I am wearing princess hair from AliExpress in a 28 inches deep wave. If you want to see how I did this install, just keep watching. The wig, it is a two, 24 inch, 220 density wig. I'm just showing you the knots here and how beautiful they are. Shout out to AliExpress and Princess Hair for sending me some lashes as well. Um, my bleaching process was very horrible, I feel like. Um, I never had this issue of bleaching the knots, but I just feel like it took forever. I don't know if it's the solution that I made, um, but it was, I feel like I've restarted my 20 minute timer three different times. Here I'm just showing you the first time I set the timer horrible process for me <laughs> and you know you have to do the ball cap method this is what works for me um if you know you know that spray is very cold so you see all of the crazy faces that i'm making here your girl was struggling <laughs> and um for me i know i personally like to remove the combs in my wig it just makes it more comfortable for me personally. I like to remove the, I think it's like three in a perimeter, but I keep the one in the back. So here, I'm just showing you guys how I do that. And now it is time to apply that glue. This is how I apply my glue. This is what works for me. I definitely feel like I could have kept it a little lighter. I feel like I was maybe heavy handed with the glue. But you know, the install came out very pretty. So I'm not tripping on that. You can see that um, got to be sprayed behind my ear, but it is so important to let your glue dry. Like you don't want to apply your wig when the glue is still white. That would mess your install completely up. So I just like to make sure it's dry, make sure it's tack tacky or at least partially dry before I do anything else or before I add any more glue. And this will be my second layer of glue. On this install, I maybe did three or four layers. I was planning for it to last a little. And I actually um, plucked my wig off camera. I should have recorded me doing that for you guys. But if you would like a more in-depth tutorial on that, I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. But this was just, you know, a little something I wanted to post of me, of how I do my wigs. But... I think I'm going to do a more in-depth tutorial for you guys as well. So you guys can see that portion. And the way I'm running this comb through this wig in my face, I was not playing with this wig, okay? I was determined to make sure this wig was laid, okay? And here I'm just pulling my baby hairs out. I'm really just learning how to do baby hairs and how and figuring out how I like them personally. Baby hairs always give me the blues. I'm sorry, I was actually pulling my um ear tabs out. <laughs> um, it's important to make sure your ear tabs are cut out so your wig can actually sit comfortably on you. Like I know personally in the past, I would cut my ear tabs out incorrectly, and it was just be uncomfortable the way the wig is sitting on your ear like if you know you know you have to <laughs> cut them ear ties out and cut them out good and it's always important to make sure you have your elastic brand tilt them edges down and let everything sit <laughs> I really need 
need to fix my face. Like, this wig was low-key stressing me out in this install. I wanted to make sure everything was perfect. So, I was focused. But I'm just showing here that I like to section off the um, frontal part in the area that I'm cutting. It just makes it a lot easier for when you actually get to start cutting your frontal area. Um, and always, you got to keep the clips on hand. Make sure you clip that hair up. Okay, you don't want no hairs in your way, in your area, nothing getting attached to that glue. And I like to use an eyebrow razor. It really helps get them ragged edges so you don't have just a straight line cut across your head. And yes, I am very focused. If this makes you uncomfortable, I'm so sorry. But I was very safe when it came to this razor, okay? <laughs> And your girl was multitasking, okay? I got a TikTok done. Like, I'm all about getting my content now. I'm going to get that content. So, you see me here <laughs> doing my little TikTok video, trying to figure out how to operate TikTok. <laughs> Look how stuck I am. I was struggling, y'all. So, I finally got it. <laughs> And one thing I want to say, ladies, is practice makes perfect. Like, I hear people all the time, I don't know how to do hair. I can't do hair. I didn't either until I really got out there and tried. Practice makes perfect. Really just try. YouTube is my best friend. Even my installs now are not perfect, but, you know, I'm still learning. I love to learn new things and create new experiences for myself. And I honestly do all of my wig installs, and I think I do a pretty good job. And the most important thing I've learned is just take your time. Be patient, okay? Be patient. Patience is always key, especially with doing hair. Like, you can't just rush and do everything and expect everything to be perfect. You have to literally take your time and do everything step by step that's my dog jasper in the background he has to make his presence be known <laughs> but here i'm just trying to eliminate that that um casting that you get after you cut your wig i'm just taking my ruby kisses palette and doing that along the um edge line here and you see it really made a big huge difference there now i'm starting to feeling myself i'm like okay i'm almost done done with this wig and saw that stressing me out child <laughs> Now, I know I say everything is an important step, but this is very important. I like to go back in with my ghost bond and um, just go in on any little areas that may be lifting up still. So, I don't have to go back and eliminate in any more lace. So, here you just see me just little details. The details always matter. Just fixing those little areas there that I that I see. I'm very particular on things. So here you see me pinpointing everything and trying to fix stuff. So I like to take my baby hairs out and wrap my elastic band around them. I actually finish my baby hairs off camera because they are always giving me the blues and I'm always struggling to get them how I like them. But yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory right here. beautiful as you can see i finished up with the install i had to do my baby hairs 
off camera because maybe hairs be giving me the blues and I'll be struggling. But this is 28 inches. I'm gonna stand up so you guys can see. I'm 5'2, by the, by the way. So this is where it sits on me. I really love it. Love the install, love the hair. And this is the hair completely dried. Um, after I was finished, I just went in with these products. I have the BL Leave-In Conditioner. Love it. I use some curl defining mousse by Mio and also some curl refreshing spray. I really love Mio products. If you didn't know, she is a black, it is a black owned brand um, for natural hair. Love it. I, um, for when I wear my natural hair, I use a lot of her products. But that's all, guys. I just wanted you guys to see how good the hair is. And this curl pattern is beautiful. I love how it isn't too big. I really love princess hair. Um, I get their hair all of the time. This is actually my first time using their, getting their deep wave. I always do straight. But I love it. And this is not sponsored. I paid for this hair with my own coins so this is raw and an honest opinion i just can't stop running my fingers through it because it's so soft but yes please do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you have anything else you want to see from me you can leave a comment down below